Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is the best movie of the sequel trilogy and ends the Star Wars series in the best way possible given the situation the franchise was in due to many people behind the scenes. This movie has only been out for a few days and it's already received almost as much hate as The Last Jedi did when it first came out. In this video I'm going to talk about why I think The Rise of Skywalker is a great movie and why it will always be a disappointment for Star Wars fans. I'm going to try and avoid major spoilers because I plan on making a full film review of the movie in the future. It's no secret that The Last Jedi was a divisive film for the Star Wars community. Ryan Johnson brought his unique skill set to the Star Wars franchise and he left a lasting impression that will likely last longer than the impression J.J. Abrams made on the franchise. Now I'll be honest, I did not like The Last Jedi, but I didn't despise it like everyone else seems to. Now don't get me wrong, Ryan Johnson is a great director and his latest movie Knives Out is in my top 3 films of 2019 and he's proven that he is a more than capable writer and director. The Last Shadow was just destined to fail because there was no clear vision for the team overseeing the Star Wars film. Sure, J.J. Abrams had his vision, but that's all it was, his vision. There was no set course for the sequel trilogy that any and all directors had to follow, and this led to countless problems both in production and post-production. So Ryan Johnson decided to try and save a Titanic-esque situation that was destined to ram an iceberg, and that was The Last Jedi. Of course, we all know how that ended, you know, poorly. Fans expected The Rise of Skywalker to not only fix the problems that The Last Jedi presented, but to also bring a fitting conclusion to the franchise that we all know and love, while pleasing fans from the original movies to newer fans and to the general public. This situation wasn't helped by the PR blunders that plagued the time between both movies, and rabid fans that went wild with theory after theory that only fueled the anger towards a movie that hadn't even finished filming yet. If you kept up with Star Wars news over the past year, then you will know about all the leaks that came out, the angry reaction videos to these leaks. And I put leaks in air quotes. I could make a giant video talking about the leaks, test screening rumors, and PR blunders, but I'm just going to summarize it here for you so we can move on. This movie was destined to fail because the fan base had no faith in Lucasfilm to deliver a fitting end to the series or even deliver a good cinematic experience. I'll be honest, I had little hope in The Rise of Skywalker being a great film because I followed all the rumors and behind the scenes news and I bought into the rage of the fan base that crucified this movie before it was even finished. So when I walked into theater on December 20th, I had semi-low expectations. When I left the theater at the conclusion of the film, I immediately went to my letterbox profile and gave the film a 4.5 star rating. So what changed? Well, it's simple really. It was a great movie and a good Star Wars film. I say good because I consider A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back is great and this film was not quite on their level. All of the actors and actresses in the film were on point with their performance, with some great performances by Adam Driver, Daisy Ridley, Carrie Fisher, and John Boyega. Star Wars has always had some of the best cinematography of any franchise, and this film was no different. But, you know, the story was frantic, but it did have a general course the entire way. You knew what the overall plot was and where the characters would end up. There are moments where things conveniently happen to move the plot along, and they're annoying because they happen a little too often. I believe the screenwriters did a great job of patching up the damage that The Last Jedi made, and they were able to continue the story in a direction that made sense with the storyline of the sequel trilogy and the whole Star Wars story. One major complaint I have is the music, surprisingly. Now, John Williams is a great composer, one of the best of all times but the music in this film did not have the same impact it does in any other Star Wars film. I didn't want to leave the Star Wars universe as the film was winding down, and when the film ended, I sat in my seat for about a minute and reflected on how much the movie exceeded my expectations. So to quickly summarize, the moral of the story is, don't assume a movie is going to be terrible just because everyone else says so. I know Star Wars isn't going away forever, but the episodic movies are done, at least for now. This is a franchise that I love, and it was painful to see it drug through the dirt like a criminal in an old western, but I'm happy it ended on a high note. 
This movie made me remember why I love films so much. Everyone has their own taste in movies and they get passionate about their films because most people feel like their taste in movies is a reflection on them as individuals. If you haven't seen Rise of Skywalker, I highly recommend it. You can make your own opinions on it. Look at my YouTube channel. I don't make videos about films, aside from the short films that I make. So this movie inspired me enough to introduce a whole new genre of video to my channel because I wanted to share my thoughts on this film. I hope everyone has learned a lesson from the sequel trilogy and hopefully the next trilogy will be more consistent than this one was. So what did you all think of the movie? Do you agree with the case I presented in this video or do you think I had no idea what I was talking about the entire thing? Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.